What are my best tips for beginners? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome to Adam Immune. This channel is all about health, weight loss, and managing autoimmune disease. As you probably already know, the autoimmune protocol is a very restrictive diet in nature. It can be pretty difficult to start, especially if you don't have any previous experience with elimination diets. So today, I'm going to share with you my five best tips for beginners for the AIP Paleo Diet. Makes me feel, makes me feel alive. One, eat as few foods as possible when starting out. I know this is going to go completely against the grain, and I'm probably going to catch a lot of backlash from people telling me, no, 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 Adam, you need to eat a, ver a wide variety of foods. And you know, 99% of the time I'd probably agree with you. But eating a lot of foods on this diet is going to derail you fast, especially in the beginning. You, you just don't want to do that. Find 5 to 10 safe foods that you can eat every single day that you know aren't going to give you any reaction. Stick to those foods and don't veer off the path. Wait till you're completely healed and then you can rotate your foods in and out like I do. It's important to get proper nutrition, but right now we're playing a whole different other game. So think in terms of weeks or even months. Don't worry, you're not going to become deficient in anything overnight. You're not. Number two, keep a food diary. Keep track of every single thing you eat. I mean everything, even what you drink, 100%. You can keep a special notebook for this, or you can use one of those apps that you can find online, just download them, maybe use a free one. I have not tried this, but I have heard good results from friends of mine. If there's an app that you use that you really would like to recommend, please leave it in the comments below. I'm sure it'll help out somebody. And I might even try it out, who knows? If you're like me and you're thinking, no, no, I don't, I don't need to write everything down that I eat, I, I got it, it's all up here. Don't be like me. Don't be stubborn. You're not going to remember everything. Trust me. I mean, we eat a lot of stuff. Take it from me. Learn, learn from my mistakes. You're welcome. <laughs> Number three, prep your food. This is important. Not only prep your food, but keep it handy. I mean, take it every single place you go. Keep something in the car, keep a container at work, carry a backpack with you. I'm serious. I, you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. Do not give yourself any reason to veer off the track. There are plenty of reasons already. Temptation is everywhere. In the beginning, cravings are gonna be, I mean, they're gonna be unbearable, honestly. Um, they're gonna be driving you crazy. And you need to be prepared, so get prepping. Oh, I almost forgot. If you are a big sugar eater, you're gonna wanna have some servings of fruit handy. You know, something to get you past that sugar craving in the beginning. Uh, I used to have watermelon and all kinds of different fruit, strawberries mainly, a lot of berries. And that was a that was a big boost for me. That was a big help. So if you can, and if you can do it without overeating, go ahead and do it. But you know, try to get away from eating desserts after every meal or every day, like I did. You know, that's it's just a bad habit to get into. And naturally, following a low-carb diet and the AIP diet, and possibly keto, you're probably going to fall away from that anyway. It, it happens to a lot of us. Number four, buy convenience foods. As I mentioned in a previous video, I buy those steamed vegetable bags, and that's that's been a big deal for me. I mean, I use them all the time. It's cheap, it's convenient, it takes about six minutes in the microwave, and you have, a, you have a full meal, you know, along with some meat and healthy fat. Yes, it does help to have basic cooking skills, and it will definitely become a necessity in the future, but for now, don't make extra obstacles for yourself. Make it as easy as possible. It's, you're gonna have difficult times in other areas, trust me. Sometimes the easiest solution is just the best solution. Number five, join a Facebook group. You're gonna mess up, it happens to all of us, especially me. Don't, don't stress out about it. Being around like-minded individuals with your same diet and goals, it's a priceless commodity. Plus, it's free. And it's just nice to have people to talk to that are in a similar situation. People that know exactly what you're going through. So get out there and start making connections. You won't regret it. These have been my five best tips for beginners on the Paleo AIP diet. If you liked the video, drop a like. 
share the video, and smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you next time.